Rainwater is the best quality of water for plants, and it's very easy to start harvesting using a simple rain barrel. Follow these tips for a barrel that looks great and is set up for optimum results. Building your barrel. What you'll need. One 55 gallon food grade plastic drum. A six inch tracing template and marker. A yardstick and duct tape. A shop towel or rag. A drill with a small pilot hole bit. A jigsaw with a blade for cutting plastic. A drill with an inch and five eighths hole saw. A plastic bulkhead with three quarter inch pipe threading a three-quarter inch brass faucet, Teflon tape, vinyl insect netting, and clear silicone caulking. First, trace a template for your water inlet. A six-inch round food storage container lid works great. Next, drill a small hole near the outside of your circle to insert your jigsaw. Then, cut out the hole using a jigsaw blade designed for use with plastic. Lay the barrel on its side and use the hole saw to make a hole about two inches from the bottom. Next, with the barrel upright, grab your yardstick and wrap duct tape around the end sticky side out. Secure the male end of the bulkhead to the duct tape. Insert into the barrel and out through the hole. Secure the washer and plastic nut by hand tightening counterclockwise. Wrap the threads of the brass faucet with Teflon tape and carefully install, turning clockwise to tight. Next, run a small bead of silicone around your inlet. Place the insect netting over the hole and use a shop towel to smooth the silicone attaching the netting to the barrel. Allow to dry. It's that easy and now you're ready to start saving from a rainy day. Painting your barrel is a good option, especially for white or translucent barrels. This is what you'll need. Black primer and paint rated for use on plastic, adhesive remover, sanding pad or sandpaper, dish soap, a spray clear coat. First, remove any labeled sticky residue or large debris with the adhesive remover. Next, lightly sand your barrel using a sanding pad or a finer grit sandpaper. Scrub with soapy water and rinse clean. Allow to dry. Spray or paint on a coat of black primer and allow to dry. Then paint another coat using any paint rated for use on plastics. Be sure to apply using even strokes or sprays and allow to dry between coats. Small rollers work great for even coverage. Two coats may be necessary for best results. Don't forget to be creative matching colors and designs that fit with your style and existing landscapes, or paint it to blend into its existing surroundings. Finally, apply one to two clear coats to increase durability and protect your design. Setting up your barrel. This is what you'll need a rake or shovel, decomposed granite, gravel or mulch, cinder blocks or concrete pavers, a level and a hacksaw, a screwdriver, a flexible gutter extender. Find a spot to place your rain barrel. If you have a gutter system, place near a downspout. For those without gutters, choose a spot near a roof valley where rainwater naturally empties. These areas are typically void of mulch and have sparse vegetation. Prep the ground by leveling the area as needed. Install one to two inches of decomposed granite, gravel, or mulch to prevent erosion. Install an 18 to 24 inch base for your barrel to allow for easier access and to raise the water pressure. The base should be completely secure and level for safety as well as even overflow when it rains. Installing the water inlet. Cut or unscrew the downspout section above the barrel. Use the original downspout sections or a flexible gutter extension to direct water into your barrel. Make sure the water inlet is secure so it stays in place during thunderstorms. 
Make sure the faucet is off so that your barrel will fill up during the next rain event. And use any time your plants need a drink. Connecting two barrels to expand your capacity. This is what you'll need. A hose splitter, a small section of garden hose with female fittings on each end, and Teflon tape. Install a hose splitter on one faucet. Connect the two barrels using the small section of hose with female fittings. Make sure the hose connections are secure and the shutoffs to the hose are open.